Hey, what's good, everyone? I'm at the final table. I'm gonna grind some one two tonight. But all right, wish me luck. I belong, I belong to you. I belong, I belong to you. Do just what you want. Today, I go play the one two no limit game at the final table. I buy in for the max four hundred dollars. I get my chips and head to the table. Starting off the session, a couple players limp in, and then I look down at 4 or 6 of hearts and raise it to $15. Two players call, and we go three ways to a flop. The flop's a pretty good one. Queen 10, 5 of 2 hearts, and I flop a flush draw. Action checks to me, and I see bet for $15, as I would if I had any other two cards in my hand. Only one player makes the call, and we go heads up to a turn. The turn is the 6 of diamonds, and I'll give me a pair of 6s. He checks it over to me, and then I look over my opponent's stack, and he only has a little over $100 left. So I just put him all in for the rest of his stack. I want to put max pressure on one pair of holdings. Maybe he has a hand like 10 jack, cause I don't think I could get a queen to fold here. But he pretty much quickly folds and I get the semi bluff through. Just a few hands later, I'm in the big blind. A few players limp in and then the button raises it to $13. Small blind folds and then I look down at 10 jack offsuit. I do think about 3 betting here to try and isolate the button, but I end up just making the flat call along with 2 other players and we go 4 ways to a flop. Looking back now, I definitely should have 3 betted here, and 10 jack is a strong enough hand to 3 bet. The flop is 5 queen 5 all off suit, and I don't have much here. First action's on me, and I just check. Action checks all around, and the turn is the king of hearts, now give me an up and down straight draw. I check again because I would hate to get checked raised here. And surprisingly, action checks all around again. Now looking back, I definitely should have bet here. Because if someone was slow playing a queen on the flop, I would just be representing the king here and that would put a lot of pressure if they did have a queen. And on top of that, I have 8 outs on the river to hit my straight. So I have quite a bit of equity. The river is the 9 of spades. Now give me a straight. Runner, runner, baby, let's go. This time, I can't check again and let this possibly check through. So this time, I lead out for $20, just a small little value bet, and only one player makes the call. I show my straight, and we're good, and we take down the pot. Again, looking back now, I played this hand way too passive, and I definitely should have 3-bet a pre-flop. This pot should have been a lot bigger, but I'll take it. This next hand, I record a little late, but I look down at 7 deuce of spades and raise it to $16. No, we're not playing the 7 deuce game, but there's something about beating someone with the worst possible starting hand in poker. It just makes you feel like such a boss, or a troll. We go heads up to a flop, which is 9 queen queen all off suit. First action is on me, and I bet out $15. My opponent quickly calls, and the turn is a jack of diamonds. I make the mistake and check to my opponent. I mean, if I'm gonna play 7 deuce, I got a 3 barrel all 3 streaks, right? My opponent decides to check back. The river is a 3 diamonds, bringing in the backdoor flush. I lead out this time for $40, and my opponent doesn't think too long about it and makes a quick call. Ay uh, I tell my opponent he's good, because I didn't want to show the 7 deuce. He shows 9-10 for 2 pair and takes down the pot. He probably put me a hand like ace-king the way I played it. But yeah, looking back, I definitely got 3 barrel all 3 streaks if I want to play 7 deuce. Because the moment I checked the turn, and then bet out on the river, my story just didn't add up right. But damn. Alright, moving on. Alright, hand of the night. And I look down at the ladies, pocket queens baby, and raise it to $15. Two players call, and then the small blind 3 bets with 81. When action's on me, this feels pretty strong. I mean, most people they don't 3 bet very lightly in a 1-2 game. So I'm only putting him on 3 hands really. Pocket aces, pocket kings, and ace king. I didn't look over at stack, and it looks like he only has just a little over $100 behind. I don't want to make the flat call here, and then possibly go multi ways with pocket queens. So for me, it's either fold or all in. Well, I don't really like the fold, so <laughs> I go with the second option. I rip it all in. And then two players behind me fold, and then the small blind calls for 124 more dollars, and we go heads up to a run out. Flop is a bad one. 
King 5-3 all off suit. And now I'm losing to all three hands that I put him on. The turn is another five and the river is another three. I show the ladies and my opponent shows the boys 8-8 eight, eight, Ron and I double them up. Damn, I would run into pocket aces when I finally pick up a premium. Comment down below and tell me how you would have played this hand. Would any of you would have made this fold? Because I did think about making this tight fold because my spidey senses, they felt like he had aces. But how do you ever fold pocket queens from just a three bet? I mean, maybe it was a four bet or a five bet, but come on, I can't be folding from just a three bet. That's just way too tight. But, oh wells, moving on. Hopefully I don't run into another cooler this session. Just two hands later, a bunch of players limp in, and when action's on me, I look down at 3-7 offsuit, and I just made the call for another dollar. I'm not on that much tilt to be raising here. Maybe if I had 7 deuce, then okay, I definitely would've been raising. We go 6 ways to a flop, which is a pretty good one. 7-3-8 all offsuit, and I flop bottom 2 pair. First action's on me, and I check. If I lead out into 5 players, that'll look pretty strong. My plan is to check raise any bet. The hijack bet $6. Big money, baby. <laughs> when one player calls, I didn't raise it to $30. Everyone else folds except for the hijack, and we go heads up to a turn. The turn is a deuce of clubs, which shouldn't change much. I'm putting my opponent on a hand like 9 10 or 5 6 for a straight draw, maybe even top pair. I lead out for $50, expecting to make the call, but he actually ends up folding and shows king seven of diamonds. Good fold by him, but if I was in his position, I don't think I could make that fold there. But I'm a noob, so what do I know? Okay, time for some redemption. I look down at the ladies again, pocket queens baby, under the gun, and raise it to $15. Please be good to me this time ladies. Three players call, and we go four ways to a flop. The flop is a pretty bad one. Six, six ace with two clubs, and of course the ace pops up. You already know one of these guys have an ace in their hand. Action checks to me, and since I was the pre-flop aggressor, I could represent an ace. But in the moment, I was just thinking, if I put any more money in, I don't think I could get anyone here to fold an ace. Action checks all the way around, and the turn is the four of clubs. Now give me a queen high flush draw. The small blind leads out for $15. Again, when first person leads out into a multi-way pot, usually in the case they got something strong. Maybe he has a small flush, because I don't think an ace or even a six would bet here multi-ways, with the board being paired and a flush draw. The player to my right calls, and I call as well, just trying to river a queen or club for such a cheap price. And surprisingly, the button calls as well, and we go four ways to a river. The river is the eight of clubs. Hey, okay, okay. Now give me the second nut flush. Action checks on me, which now I feel a lot more confident that I have the best hand. I bet small, $25 for some thin value. And if I get raised here, I think I can make the fold pretty easily. And what do you know? The button raises it to $50 the old fashioned mid raise. That means they have it every time. Two players fold, and I think it over just for a few seconds before letting it go. My opponent shows pocket eights for a river full house. Ay uh, What is going on this session? Did I just play this one bad? I mean, being out of position, multi ways with an ace and a paired board with pocket queens, I don't know, tough spot. I usually play pretty aggressive, but it just felt like they had it. And no one folds here to me because they know I'm capable of punting my whole stack away. Sheesh. Nice hand, nice hand. A way to get there on the river, but I do, man. Last interesting hand of the night. Under the gun plus one raises it to $11. And I look down at six nine of diamonds to make the call along with two other players. And we go four ways to a flop. The flop is a fun one. Five, five, eight with two diamonds, and I flop a straight flush draw. Action checks on me. My plan is to check raise all in to any bet, as I don't have much behind. The player to my left bets out $20. One player calls, and when action's on me, I rip it all in for $66. 
Only the player to my left calls, and we go heads up to run out. See you on the river. The turn is the worst card you can ask for. It's another five. So now if he had an eight or a five, my hand is pretty much dead, unless I hit a seven of diamonds or a nine. The river is none of that. It's a 10 of hearts. I tell my opponent he's good, and he flips over seven, eight offsuit for a full house and stacks me. Yup, sounds about right. That is just how my nine is going, as I'm just getting cooler after cooler, or I just can't hit anything. But just like that, I get stacked to call it a night. All right, just got done with the session. Played bad tonight and ran bad tonight. I mean, I got pocket queens twice, ran into aces, which I kind of thought he had aces, but I thought he was just trying to steal the pot. But I mean, when I looked at his stack, he only had about 100 behind. So I didn't want to just flat call. I was like, let's just get it in now, just in case he was bluffing. And then the second time I got queens, I hit the flush on the river, and I thought I was only going to lose at the king high flush. But then she got there with pocket eights and got the full house on the river. Even though I didn't make the fold, <laughs> but that was just my kind of night tonight. And then at the end, the last hand, I hit the straight flush draw and yeah, he just had a pair of eights and nothing I could do about that, but <sighs> frustrating. Just, just a bad night, bad night overall. I was in for the game for 400 and out for zero. So thanks for watching and see you in the river. Just not tonight.